Thank you. All right, everyone. So let's sit up nice and tall in the chair and just start with those wrist rolls, right? So just reach your arms out in front and roll those wrists. Good. And reverse directions. Nice. And then just take a little moment to like massage the jaw and the cheeks, right? So I've just kind of folded my knuckles down and just taking a moment to just kind of massage underneath the jaw, right? Into the cheekbones. And then up across the forehead, just kind of smooth it out. I have my glasses on, so yes, they get in the way today, but you know what I mean. And then just take the hands behind the neck and kind of just gently massage under the base of the skull. So I'm just kind of drawing my fingers down away from the base of the skull towards the back of the ears. Again, nice and gentle. Nice, and then bringing the hands behind the head, just draw the chin to the chest here a moment, and then fold the elbows in, giving the head a nice little hug. Open the elbows, lift the head, neck, and chest, peek up to the ceiling. Draw the chin down towards the chest, bringing those elbows in, give it a little hug. Open those elbows up, lift head, neck, and chest, peek up to the ceiling. And one more time, chin down to the chest, bring those elbows in, nice gentle hug, feel that stretch along the back. Open the elbows, lift head, neck, and chest, and then come to neutral, arms down by your side. Take three breaths in while we lift the arms. So inhale those arms up. Flip the palms, exhale, arms down. Nice, inhale, palms up. Flip the palms, exhale, down. Inhale, palms up. And exhale, down. Nice, reach the arms forward, just take some arm circles up and back and around. Reach, nice, and reach. Good, we're gonna come to the top, reach up to the ceiling and reverse direction. So go down, back up and around. Down, back up and around. Down, back up and around. And pause, nice. Reach those arms out in front of you. And then you're gonna just kind of bend the elbows, slide them back and then lift the forearms. Hold, nice. Lower the forearms, slide the arms forward. Right, so just slide back, bending those elbows, kind of making the letter W right here. Lift those forearms, just take the stretch. Nice, lower those forearms, send the arms forward. And again, slide back, hold, lower down, reach forward. Good, bring them back, hold here. Now you're gonna lift up, and lower down. So let's inhale as we go up. Exhale, pull the stomach in as we lower down. Inhale, fill up those lungs. Push the ribs out to the sides. Exhale, soften the ribs, pull the stomach in. Inhale, lift. Exhale, pull those elbows apart. Squeeze through the back of the shoulder blades. Good, one more, inhale, lift. And exhale, lower down. Good, and then pulse back, back, back. So kind of squeezing the shoulder blades back here as you go. Woo. Feel that stretch through the front. And lower those arms down and shake it out. Nice work. Coming into some calf raises. So sitting nice and tall, I'm just gonna lift my heels, squeeze my glutes in the back of the legs and lower down. Squeeze the calf and glutes and lower. 
squeeze and lower, squeeze and lower. Pull the stomach in, sitting up nice and tall, kind of taking notice of where the shoulders are. So just take a little shoulder shrug here and then just set the shoulders back down in place. Nice. And then keep act activating the calves and the glutes, lifting those heels. Sitting up nice and tall. Good, two more. Last one, nice. So now just tap alternating feet out to the front, right, left, right, left, right, left. Good, and then come to the side. Left and right to the side. Start to pull the blood a little bit. Good, and then come front and back again. Good. Nice, just a little brain teaser here to get you thinking. Good, and then pause, lengthen the feet out in front of you and just take nice swishing circles. So just circle those legs from like the knee and the hip. Good, and reverse it. And come back. Good. Bringing those arms out in front, coming into our nice little figure eight. Good. Nice. All right. Let's bring that left arm up behind the head, bending the left elbow holding on to it nice and pulling it towards you and then sending your head back in line yes nice good and then maybe we let go with the right arm bring it behind the back a little bit you don't have to touch the, the other hand but just roll this shoulder back and again kind of lift your spine and look forward nice so when it's colder out, although I know it's not quite so cold today, but we're all bundled up usually if, if, if we happen to have, be outside and you know, just notice what happens to your posture. Like if you find yourself kind of rounding forward, trying to like kind of stay a little warm, blocking yourself from any breeze, kind of think about this, resetting yourself, right? Kind of look up and forward, bring your head back in line with the spine and lower down. That's going to help you walk straighter. That's going to help you find your glutes and be able to lift your heels. So now take that right arm, bend the elbow. Send, yep, send that head back towards that arm. Good, and then let go with the left arm, taking it behind the back, roll that left shoulder back, right? So you're going to nice lift up nice and tall. Pushing into that back hand. That's it, nice. And release. Holding those palms down and out to the side with the palms up, just tip your head to your left. So really reach those arms out and roll those shoulders back, lifting the palms. So you're gonna get a little bit of stretch here through the forearm and then that nice neck stretch here. Good, lift the head through your center and then tilt to the other direction. Nice, and up, good. Bringing the fingertips to those shoulders, big shoulder rolls, so tap those elbows. Reach, 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 reach. Nice and reverse that's it and down all right reach those arms out to a t and then perch up off your seat right so i'm using my glutes i'm pulling my stomach in here to sit up tall and i'm going to rotate my shoulders I'm going to lift my palms up, rotate my shoulders up, and then flip my palms back and down, rotate the shoulders forward, and lift up, and roll back. So make sure the whole shoulder is rolling forward and back. 
and lift. Nice, and back, push back, and come forward, and roll. Nice. And then face those palms back, right? So your shoulders are rolling forward and in, and then pulse back, pulse back. And again, make a nice long neck. So come lower if this is too much on the shoulder, right? It might be too much to be up this high, but watch what happens to the neck, right? Keep that nice long neck, pull the stomach in, perch up off the seat, push the feet into the floor so everything's working. Good, flip those palms back up and take arm circles here. Good. So right, notice how much your waist is helping holding you up here and moving those arms for you, right? So it's not just an arm move. And reverse those circles. Right, every muscle connects to the next one. So just think of it as full body each and every time. And down. Nice. All right, we're going to take a moment to kind of focus on our breathing again. So placing your hands on your ribs. I've done this in the past with a band, but we're gonna just keep it simple today. So just placing your hands up by your rib cage, inhale, and see if you can kind of push your hands away from the body, like out and away, and then exhale, soften the ribs, pull the stomach in, kind of feel the lungs deflate. Inhale through your nose, keep inhaling, keep inhaling, and then exhale, let it all out. Draw the stomach in, soften the ribs, the diaphragm will lift up. And in, and again, inhale. And exhale. Nice. One more time like that. Inhale. And exhale. And arms down by your side. Going into a forward fold, right? So you can either hinge first, if that feels better, and then draw the chin to the chest, bringing the head down towards the floor. Let the arms be heavy. And then just gently shake the head side to side. And then front to back, just a little nod. And then pause and prepare to roll up. So inhale, pull the stomach in as you exhale. Lift yourself on up, shoulders, head is last. Nice. One more time like that. So start to hinge forward, draw the chin to the chest, and then melt down towards the floor. Kind of feel the back lengthen. See if you can get some length through that low back. Let the head be heavy here. Let the arms just hang down. And then inhale, prepare. As you start to lift right about now, exhale, pull the stomach in shoulders and then head is last nice taking that onto some small cat and cow so placing your hands onto the thighs right round a little forward again drawing the chin to the chest and then release sliding the palms back lift head neck and chest to the ceiling good and again chin to chest taking that C curve. And again, I'm just trying to stretch even my mid and low back. So not so much rounding the shoulders as just trying to stretch through that tight part and then pull the stomach in, roll the shoulders back as the head, neck and chest lifts. Good, and one more time. Coming forward, pulling the belly in, like you're pulling your stomach away from your hands, which are reaching out past the knees and then sliding those hands back home lifting head, neck, and chest, and then coming to neutral. Nice. So then grab your band for our hundreds day. I'm just going to use this to help count and pulse. So sit to the middle of your chair. So again, if you've got still any tightness in the back, um, or if you just need a little assist, right, it's a little easier when you have more leg support on the chair. Because I'm going to add a little leg lift with our hundred today, right? So we're gonna breathe, inhale for five, lifting one leg, exhale, lower that leg down. We'll inhale for five, lift the other leg, exhale, lower down, and we'll do that for our 10 sets. So here we go, you're gonna start pumping your arms. And inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, set it down. Inhale, other leg. And exhale, lower. 
and inhale. And out, two, three, four, five, and in. And out, two, three, four, five, and in. And out, two, three, four, five, and in, and. And out. Inhale. And exhale. And in. And out. And in. And out. Last set and in. And out. One more time. And down. And release. Nice. I think we did 11 or 12. So that's always good. <laughs> All right. Sit forward a little bit now towards the front of your chair again. And just doing some ISO ab work here again. So putting your hands onto your thighs, take an inhale. And then exhale, I'm just kind of pushing my hands into my legs and pulling my stomach in. Inhale, release everything. Exhale, kind of turn the glutes on, pull the stomach in. Inhale, release. Exhale. So just by pushing my palms into my legs a little bit, it kind of helps me force to pull in that low abdominal. Exhale, release. Inhale. Nice. and release. All right, now we're gonna do one side at a time. So I want you to inhale, move both hands over to that right side, take an inhale, and now exhale. See if you can activate just your kind of right oblique, right side abdominal. Inhale, release, exhale, pull this right side in. Inhale, release. You might even wanna put a little palm here and exhale, see if you can feel the muscles kind of pull away from your hand. Inhale, release. Maybe they'll fill up into the hand and then exhale. Pull those muscles away from your palm. Inhale, release. And exhale. Nice. Switch sides, right? So go over to that left. Taking an inhale. And exhale. Pulling that left side in. Inhale, release. Exhale. Inhale, release. Exhale, inhale, release, and exhale. Pulling it off that hand, kind of hollowing out a little space between the hand and the muscle. Inhale, release, and exhale. Nice, one more. And exhale, and down, nice. All right, sitting back just to the middle of the chair again, holding those arms up to the ceiling, taking some knee lifts. So on your inhale, prepare. Exhale, float that right leg up. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, left leg up. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, pull the stomach in to lift the knee. And exhale, so it's not very big. You're just trying to get a sense that the ab is helping to lift the knee and lift. Nice. And lift. And lift. And lift. And arms down. Nice. Okay, we're going to do that again, but we're going to have an opposite tap. So we're going to hold those arms up. You're going to inhale. And you're going to exhale, tap opposite arm to opposite knee. Inhale, lift through your center. Exhale, opposite side. Inhale, lift, grow taller. Exhale, stomach in, float the knee up. Nice. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Nice. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Last one. And exhale. And arms down. Nice. Just kind of shake everything out. Wiggle the hips side to side. Coming into a little seated twist. So bring your knuckles together today so you can have palms face forward. Sometimes I like to just roll my shoulders back and have my palms face out. Sit up tall. Take your inhale. Exhale to the right a little bit. Inhale, center. 
Exhale to the other side, left. Inhale, center. Exhale. Now, everyone, I want you to move from the rib cage. Inhale, center. So it's not just the elbow. It's not the shoulder necessarily doing the twisting. It's the ribs. Inhaling. Exhale. Oh, nice correction, everyone. We all found where our shoulders were. We put them where they should be. Nice work. Inhale, center. And exhale. And exhale. So again, just creating that flexibility in our spine. Last time. And come center and down. Okay. Option here to grab a one or two pound weight. We're going to do a little leg lift and arm lift or no weights at all. So your choice. Also option to sit forward, which is a little bit more challenging, right? Because we have to sit up tall. Sitting to the middle of the chair gives us more support under the leg. So to start, I'm going to sit forward in my chair and I'm going to have a two pound weight. And so the weight is in my right hand and I'm going to lift the opposite leg and opposite arm tighten through the quad and lower that down. So we're going to stay on this side. Lift, right? So now I'm going to pull my stomach in to help me stay lifted and lower. You could even hold underneath the chair if that helps as well. And down. Good. So quad work here. A nice arm work with a little bit of weight. Good. And lift. And lower. Two more. Lift. And down. Last one this side. And down. Good. Switch sides. Make any adjustment. If that felt okay, stay where you are. If not, adjust. Here we go. Leg up, arm up, and lower down. Reach. And down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, lift. Lower. Inhale, lift. And down. Nice work, everyone. Inhale, lift. And down. And lift. And down. Two more. Lift. And down. Last one. And down. Okay, back to the other side. Now we're gonna do a little clamshell version. So my heel is gonna be lifted on the leg that's gonna rotate out. The arm, opposite arm is gonna reach forward. And now we're gonna open arm, open leg, and bring it home. Inhale to open, feel the outer hip activate here. Exhale, bring it home. Inhale, open, exhale, home. Good, inhale home, or inhale open, <laughs> exhale home. Inhale, and exhale. Good, and that arm only has to be shoulder height, no higher. And home, two more, inhale, and exhale. Last one, exhale, and down. Nice. Switching sides, right? So now that right foot, heel is lifted, arm is out in front. And here we go. Inhale, open. And exhale, close. Inhale, nice strong arm. And exhale. Inhale, grow taller. And exhale. Good. Inhale. And exhale. And exhale. Good. Three more. And release. Last two. Last one. And down. Nice work. Set that weight down. Shake everything out. And then just take even a little calf stretch here. Send that right heel to the floor and then just hinge. Bring the toes to the ceiling. If you want to try and just reach a little further to the shin or to the toe, and then look down in front ahead of you. Good, and release. 
bring it on up, switch sides. So setting that left heel forward, sit tall, hinge, right? Creating that nice flat back. Nice, good, good, good. Just relax the shoulders, draw the chin down to the chest a little bit here. So we're just not all craning the neck. And lift on up. Nice. Okay, hands behind the head, a little side bend here. So I'm just gonna widen my legs here for a moment. Just kind of let those hips release. Inhale up and over left. Exhale, scoop and come back home. Inhale right. Exhale. So same thing with this. It's not the head, it's not the shoulders, it's not the elbows doing the lifting, it's the waist. So it's the obliques, the abdominals, all the muscles through the back. Inhale. Nice, you're getting that stretch on that opposite side and then working to lift yourself back home. Pull the stomach in, nice. And lift, good work. And lift. And lift. And last time. And home. Ooh, shake it out. Okay, a little different version for our saw today. So you're gonna come forward to the into the front of your chair, widen the legs to where it feels comfortable, right? Everyone's different with their hip flexibility. Reach your arms out to a T. So today, instead of opposite twist, we're gonna stay on the same side. So you're gonna take that right arm and you're gonna hinge down towards the floor kind of creating this line from fingertip to fingertip. Lift back up, nice, and then twist right. Good, come center, tip. You can go to the outside of the leg or the inside. You choose based on your flexibility. Lift back up, notice where you are in space here, and then twist to the right. Good, so nice long lines, hinge and twist. Nice, lift back up, pull your stomach in to help lift you and turn to the right. Good, one more time this side. Tip, down, reach, send that top arm away, away, away. That's it, lift back up. Nice and twist and arms down, shake them out a moment. Good work. All right, other side. So arms to that T, right? Notice where you are in space. Tip and reach down to the left. That's it, good. Pull your stomach in as you come back up and then twist left. Nice, inhale to our center. Exhale, reach down, create that length, long, long arms. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, twist. One more, inhale, center, exhale, reach. Inhale, lift, exhale, twist. <laughs> I even forgot where we were at <laughs> down. <laughs> Good work. Okay, so then you can take that right leg over the left and then just gently lift and twist. So we're nice and warmed up now. So just kind of notice, notice the flexibility of your spine. You can even do it seated. If you don't need a cross, you can just take a hand to the outside leg and then just help lift and twist. Exactly, nice. And release, coming to the other side. So option to cross the leg as we twist. If that's too much, you can always just gently draw those legs away from you as you're looking over your back shoulder. Nice, yes. And release. Okay, getting ready for our quad work here. So I'm gonna have everyone kind of sit towards the back of the chair because this is new and this is gonna be a little bit of a challenge. So again, I don't want any low back pain with this. Always pause, readjust. Let me know how this feels. So it's a double leg lift, right? So we've done a lot of single leg stuff in the past. Turn your glutes on, 
pull your stomach in, lift the legs. So everyone's gonna be different with how high they can lift, right? So if you can get parallel, great, tighten the quads, but this may be as far as you can go without compromising any other part of the body. So just lift where you can and lower. Place your hands underneath the chair if you need a little assist to lift and lower, All right? So lift and lower, lift and lower. Right, I'm still kind of pulling my stomach in right about here, turning those quads on. Lift and lower. All right, pause. All right, hopefully that felt okay. You're gonna now lift and hold and go for a little swim. Flutter those legs. Flutter, 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 flutter. Good. And down. Nice. Next version, we're gonna take like a little crisscross or scissor. So hold the legs up and start a little crisscross, 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 crisscross. Woo. Nice. And down. Whew. Right? Some nice burn in the hip work here in the quads. Okay, next version. So we were pretty much parallel with that. I want everyone to kind of open the hips, rotate the knees open and come bring your heels together, right? So that kind of Pilates stance that we've used in the past. And then with that, lift the legs and lower down. So it's like a little frog leg here, right? So a little bit more through this inner thigh, right there and lower. So again, turn your glutes on, push your heels together and lower. And lift, pull the stomach in, and lower, and lift, and lower, and pause, shake it out. One more set with this, so you're going to lift and hold, turn out, and tap your heels together. Tap, 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 tap the heels. So my toes are kind of softly pointed. I'm kind of rotated here in the hip. I know this is a lot of work, but I'm trying to just kind of reach through that inner thigh. Tap, tap, tap. Pretend you have like little seal legs, little seal flippers. And release. Woo! Shake it out. Come and sit forward and take a quick four stretch. So bringing that opposite ankle over the knee, flex the foot. If you need to just cross the leg here as well, you can do that. And then hinge forward. Nice, gently pressing this knee open towards the floor. Yep, so just kind of gently guiding it open, especially if you're really tight on this side. Nice. And come on up, switch sides. So bringing that ankle up to the knee, right? So flexing the foot. This is my tight side. So I'm just gonna like stay here today and just gently work that stretch. and coming on down shaking it out okay back to a little bit of upper body work we're kind of going to do our little push up here using our own body weight so placing your forearms down onto your knees to your thighs hinge forward good and now push yourself back up straightening the arms good bend the elbows lower yourself down towards the legs taking a hinge now use your back and your triceps and push yourself back up, right? So I'm focusing on the back of the arms here. So I'm not really trying to use my, um, my hands so much as the back of my arms and push on up. Good, and lower down and push back up and lower so i'm just bending hinging at the hip and then trying to find that tricep to help push me back up nice let's take two more and lift nice and last one hinge and lift nice and shake it out okay let's grab our weights again i'm dropping down to one pound weights and I'm gonna sit forward in my chair again, just challenge my, my core and my posture because we're gonna just keep our feet back down on the floor again. 
I'm going to reach the arms forward out in front of me. And then I'm just going to draw them back, roll the shoulders back, pinch your shoulder blades back together here. Nice. And then bring everything forward. Good. So you're sitting up nice and tall here. Roll the shoulders back, bring the shoulder blades together in the back and then come forward. Nice. And again, reach back, shoulder blades pinched together here and home. Good. Now arms out to a T, but same thing. Roll those shoulders back. So palms are up with the pinky, lead those arms down like a wide V. And again, pinch the shoulder blades here. Can we lift those arms right back up and home? Good, here we go. Roll back and then reach those arms back and down. A wide V, shoulder blades pinched together. And now with control, with that upper back, lift those arms back home. Nice work, guys. These are challenging. One more time, we roll the arms open, reach them down. And then lift those arms back up with control and come home. Nice. Shake it out. Coming into shave or salute. So bring the palms in front of the forehead and bend the elbows. And then just hinge forward a little bit in the chair. Right? So I have my hands in front of my forehead. And then I'm going to stretch my arms out in front of me. And bend those elbows back home. Nice. Reach up and away and lower down nice and reach and lower and reach and lower one more and down Woo. all right last is hug a tree and then i promise we're doing some stretching okay hug a tree arms out to your side and have a soft elbow right so it doesn't have to be straight right now we can have that little bend all right shrug everyone shrug the shoulders and set them back down. There you go. So find your waist. Use your core to help pull the arms up. Inhale, exhale, close your circle. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Good. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Last one, inhale, open, exhale, close, and arms down. Woo, lower the weights down. Nice. <sighs> taking the band, taking the band behind your back. So if I turn behind you, you can see I'm gonna have it behind my back. My palms are gonna face back and just sit forward in your chair so you have a little room. Good, so roll the shoulders back and then lean forward, lifting the arms up and off the back and come back on up. Nice work, good. So as you hinge right about here, kind of pull on the band a little bit and lift the arms. Roll the shoulders back as you do. Yep, there you go and come back on up. Nice, and again, hinge. Roll your shoulders back, pull the band apart, lift it up and off the back and come down. Nice. Last one. Hinge. Shoulders roll, band pulls, arms lift and come home. Nice. Putting the band to the side, sit all the way back in the chair, taking the hands behind the head, taking our nice swan extensions here lift head neck and chest stretch the front of the neck and then come back to neutral nice and again lift so you're just gently guiding that head back up and over the chair use the back of the chair to help support that upper back and then come back home to neutral nice and lift and come home Nice, and lift. And home, and arms down, nice. Draw the left arm across the body now. Good, and then yeah, hook it with the right. And then that shoulder, kind of just drop it down a little bit maybe. And just see where you feel this like stretch across the front. Nice. 
and other side. Take that arm across the body, right? Feel that stretch, maybe the shoulder drops. Gently tug it into the body with the opposite arm. That's it, nice. And release. Good, and then just taking a neck stretch, just turn the head this time to the left, right? Look over that shoulder and then look center. And then turn the head to the right, looking over the shoulder and come home. Good work, one more time each side. Turn the head and center. And other direction. And center. And release. All right, time to come up for a little standing. So a little bit of balance work. So I'm just going to adjust my camera. I'm just going to clear my weights out of the way. And just move my chair off to one side just to assist with balance if need be. So you can either stand behind the chair if that feels more secure with both hands onto the chair or step to the side, right? So first we're gonna releve in parallel. So just peek down, my feet are pointing kind of straight ahead. My ankles are under the knees, are under the hips, right? And you're gonna turn your glutes on and we're just gonna lift and lower those heels. So again, tightening the calf. And now we're just standing upright. Wait, we did this at the beginning, but now we're just adding a little bit of balance aspect to it. And then if you feel secure, let go and test your balance, right? Good. So I know everyone mentioned walking. So I want to make sure everyone knows to like do a five minute stretch after walks, right? Do these little calf raises on the bottom of a stair. Take time to do a four stretch. Take time to do a little roll down. And release, nice. Okay, now we're just gonna do a little step forward and back again, playing with our balance. So starting with that right leg, step forward, lift the back leg, and then step to the back leg. So I'm just rocking forward and back, forward and back. Good, forward and back, forward and back. Good, letting the opposite leg lift, right? So you're suspended for a second on one leg. Good and come home, switch sides. So left leg forward, tap, step and release. Step and release, step and release, right? Kind of find that sense of your core, helping you balance and lift back up. Nice, all right. Coming back to wide plie, so turn out the hips a little wider, turn the feet out to the sides of the room, and then lift the heels here, right? So kind of zipping up a little bit more inner thigh, lift and lower, lift and lower. So again, I'm just kind of changing the position of the hip and the leg and the knee, lift and lower, lift and lower, and lower. Nice. All right, shake that out. And now we're going to just move side to side. So we're just going to lean, whoopsie, to the right and lean to the left. So this is where I have to work. My ankles still roll, roll, roll. So I have to plant my foot down firmly and get that standing leg to support me. Good. Nice. Good, and come to neutral. All right, so just coming into a little kind of stretch sequence here. So I want everyone to kind of just reach their um, same arm, same leg up towards the ceiling and then come back down and then go the other way, All right? So reach, reach, take a little knee bend in between. Yep, reach, good, reach, that's it. Reach, 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 reach. 
Crossing the body, exactly. Last time and come home, shake it out. Okay, doing just a little tricep work again without any weights. We could add weights if you wanna go ahead and grab them, but I'm just gonna do without right now. So open the knees, hip distance. And just take this little kind of baby squat. So kind of just watch the knees. If anyone's got, you know, a little bit of knee issue, back off this a little bit or come back to sitting down in the chair. I'm using my glutes and my hamstrings and my abdominals to help hold me up here. And then I'm gonna have my palms facing up. And then I'm just gonna press my arms back. So palms will face the floor. Palms face up as the arms come forward. Good, and reach back and up, right? And back. So my palms are up and I'm squeezing the back of my arms right there. Good. Can everyone see that? Got this reach and reach and reach and reach. And then I'm going to stay back here and I'm going to have a straight arm and pulse it back, 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 back. Nice. Good. And then soften the knees and come on up to standing. Nice. Bring your arms up to the ceiling, widen the feet a little bit. We're just gonna take kind of a standing roll down, kind of modified. So you're just gonna soften the knees, start to melt the spine down towards the floor. Let the head hang low. And then start to roll up here, pull the stomach in, start to straighten the legs. Nice, lift the arms to the ceiling. Nice. And again, chin to chest, soften the knees, hinge at the hip here, draw the chin down to the chest. And then start to roll up, pull the stomach in. So the stomach's lifting from the floor first. The arms are coming up and arms to the ceiling. Nice. Last time, inhale, soften the knees, hinging forward. Drawing the chin down to the chest. Maybe the hands come to the floor. And then we roll up, pulling that stomach in, straining the legs, lift those arms up to the ceiling and release. Nice. Come and sit back down in your chair. Let me just see if you can see like that. All right, coming on to our little nerve stretches. So bring those palms to the outer sides of the room, reach, flex those fingers. Kind of focus on your breathing again, right in through your nose and out. In and out. And then bring the pointer finger and thumb together and then flip the thumb up, making those little cat eyes over the eyeglasses, I know. That's it, you guys got it, right? I know, it's a lot of work on the wrist. So just go where you can. And release, and then bring those arms down. I'm still have my pointer and thumb finger together. I'm gonna lift my fingers to the ceiling, so I'm flexing the wrist and then rotate the whole arm forward so the pinkies come forward and feel that stretch hopefully right down along this forearm. Nice and release. And then taking a neck stretch by bringing the hand over the head, drawing the ear down towards the shoulder. Good, and then turning the chin down towards the floor. So look down. And then gently kind of guide the head down through center and lift it back up. Nice, other side. Draw the hand over and then gently pull that ear down to your shoulder. Good, bring the chin down towards the floor. And then guide the chin down towards the center and lift it back up. 
Good, coming into our kind of mermaid stretch. So reach the leg out long. So come to where you can comfortably have that foot on the floor. Bring this arm up and reach up and over. Nice. And then I guess exactly kind of just elongate that arm, just feeling that stretch in the hip here. And then pull yourself back on up. Good. And again, maybe we slide a little further down using the front leg of the chair or just resting your elbow onto the chair. Reach. That's it. That's it. Nice. And come on up. Good. Switch sides. Bringing the other leg out. Front leg on the floor. Arm up. Yep. I'm going to keep my forearm on the chair today. Reach. 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 Good. And come on up. Nice. One more. Up and over. And again, create space between that arm and the ear, right? Create a little space, kind of like lift this arm up and over as if you could get even further. Yep, that's it. And lift back up. Woo. Bring both legs in. Gently lift one leg and just bring the knee in and give it a little hug and sit nice and tall here. Good, you could always hold under the thigh if that's a little bit easier. Nice, and set it down, other side. So option one, holding under the leg. Nice, option two, towards the shin. But notice how you sit nice and tall, yes, and get that stretch through the low back as well. And down. Good, and let's take some final three breaths. Inhale those palms up. Exhale, lift the palms and lower down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. One more, inhale up. And exhale down. Thank you everyone very much for joining me today. That was a great class. Um, it was so good to see all of you. Remember, we do have two weeks off, so I will see you in three weeks time. I think it's uh, the first week of January. Thank have you so much. Holiday. Merry Christmas, everyone. So Merry Christmas. Thank you.